Today we're going to talk about the United States. People throw out this term, United States, and they feel that they're a part of the United States. What does United States, what does that term mean? Well, there were a bunch of states, individual jurisdictions, and then they united, and the organization that is in control of all of them and runs them and claims to have authority over them is called the United States of America. Now, that is not a concept. It's not an, an abstraction. It is an actual, legitimate, as it can be, organization. It's a LLC or, or S Corp or whatever sort of organizational, legal organizational structure it has that a state can have, that's what it is. The United States of America is very different than the landmass or the people that live there. The people of the United States of America are completely different than the government of the United States of America. And so when we use terms like the U.S. is having problems paying down its debt, well, there are a lot of people that are really smart. They listen to a bunch of Dave Ramsey. They have no debt. Why are you including them in that? It's not their fault that the government goes to the uh, Federal Reserve and borrows a ton of money so that it can fight wars and do all this stuff. No, the United States is in debt. The United States government is. You are not part of that government. That government rules you. Now, it tries to make you think that you're part of it, and it's all just one big family. You know, we're, we all do our part, right? You know, we, we still 20, 30, 40% of what you earn, but without us, you'd be in big trouble because we protect you from the scary people, the monsters that come out at night from other countries, and they climb over walls, and they come over the ocean, and they're going to get you. But since we're here... We can protect you from them. So that's what we do for you. And well, yeah, I'll tell you what else we do for you. We tell you how to live so that you'll be safe. We tell you how fast you can drive. We make sure that your restaurant has certain codes that you have to follow. And, and we, we have all these rules for your life for your good, for your benefit. So that's all the stuff we do for you. And then you, of course, need to do some stuff for us. If we, if we want to help the bankers get some good interest money on, on loans, and we therefore need to make a loan. Please go fight in a war. We'll pay, your, we'll pay your kids to do this. Not much, but we'll pay them a little bit. Please come fight in our wars. Give us your sons and daughters. Pay the money to us. Buy bonds. Um, please just kind of participate in the system. Definitely vote. If you don't vote, then people are going to think that we're kind of just this fake organization that's taking advantage of everybody. So vote and please tell everybody how important it is to vote. That's what the U.S. government is saying. That's what they're doing. That's their relationship with you. You are not the United States. That flag that you, that you wave around, the stars and stripes thing, doesn't represent you. How can you have the same symbol as a government that rules you and steals from you and tells you what to do and sends your kids to die in situations that you wouldn't have chosen yourself? I mean, really, are you so scared of terrorists that if the United States government doesn't hire your kid to join the Marine Corps, that you're going to go out and do a GoFundMe campaign and dig from your own savings and send your kid off on an airplane to go over and kill some people? Of course not. It's not something you're choosing to do. It's not something you're that worried about. You're doing it because you have this fake belief that the United States government is one and the same as you. It's one and the same as the people. It ain't. I could be wrong. Study this. Not on Fox News or CNBC or so. That's not studying. That's listening to propaganda. Really, truly, look at it. What is the legal form of government? What's the philosophy behind all of this? Investigate. Really, it's worth your time. It's worth your effort. I think you might come to the same conclusion I have. The United States government and the people that live in the jurisdiction they control are very different things. One's good. One's horrible.